Hey guys, DevonXeon here, and today I'm gonna make a bit of a different video. I'm gonna experiment a bit and try to make a video where I just talk. No, no, I don't think this is gonna become a thing unless you really want it to. If so, let me know. For this video, I thought I'd discuss Bronisaros in 2013, which was a video I made a year ago and is a, a substantial part of my YouTube history in many ways and there are things about it that I like and a lot of things about it that I don't like and you're gonna hear those thoughts amongst things in this video so yeah if you think this is cozy just listening to me talk maybe on the bus or on the train or while playing a game let me know <laughs> okay let's get into it but before we start playing the video and talking over it as what a commentary is I'm going to talk a bit about behind the scenes, about the building up to the video, reasons for it, and stuff like that. Why I made it. Here's a fun fact. It was a school project. You see, I go to a school program, also known as IB, also known as fucking torture, and there they have a subject called CAS, which stands for Creativity, Action, and Service. And the goal of CAS is to deposit an amount of hours into a project that is either relatable to creativity, action, or service. So I thought I'd make a video that I could use to introduce people to the Brony fandom. A compilation of Brony videos to demonstrate what the fandom is capable of. More importantly, a video that I could show to my class. That's how it started. Before you knew it, the project got out of hand, and instead of a quick video, like 5 minutes, that I had been thinking, it became into a 17 minute video, and I realized that I should probably not show this video to my class. They'll think I'm some sort of obsessed freak, which, if I admit, I probably was. But nonetheless, I made it, and I decided, okay, I'll just post it to YouTube then. And when I posted it to YouTube, I immediately sent it into a question daily. And uh, what do you know, just a day later, in a nightly roundup, you scroll down, and here it is. Bronies are awesome, a community montage. And if we click here, and yeah, it became quite successful. 35,000 views and a bunch of new viewers and subscribers. If you look at the description, three and a half months of planning and scripting, I'm not lying, that it, it, it took a lot of time, and it was a hell of a project. If you don't believe me, I want to show you something. This is some true behind the scenes footage right here. Uh, this is my folder, I still have it. Bronies are awesome. As you can see, blah 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 blah, blah bunch of videos, all the live footage. And there, pony video list. Basically, my research composed of watching as many pony videos as I could, and whenever I found one I wanted to use, I would jot it down into this list. And as you can see, it's a hell of a list. <laughs> and these are the songs, too. I mean, this took forever. So, let's see here. Uh, this is the script. And you're probably wondering, what's the script? It's basically the order that I would play the videos and uh, the music I would play over the specific videos. And you can see this here, too. As you can see, it took a lot of planning and a lot of work. Haha. <laughs> Yeah. Close this. Uh, and then I began editing, and it was a pain in the ass. I had to do it for two and a half weeks, and uh, over the holidays, I might add. But nonetheless, it got finished, and here it is. And it spawned a whole series of inspirational videos called Bronies Are Awesome. I, I wouldn't say I'm f I was first with the Bronies Are Awesome, but it was certainly the first one to become successful. And now I've spawned several <laughs> Bronies Are Awesome, and a lot of the guys are saying that they're inspired by me, which is just fucking great. But as you can see, it was a lot of work, and that's the reason I'm not making a Bronies Are Awesome 2014, because, oh my god, I just can't be bothered. It was just so much fucking work. I don't want to do that again. It's certainly not over the holidays. And IB, in the second year, is turning out to be a hell of a bitch, so I just don't have time. I'm sorry. 
But I guess that's the background out of the way. It was a big step in my channel of me becoming where I am today. If you like this type of video of me talking, I could make another video where I go through the entire history of how my channel became the way it is today. And if you would like that, let me know. But nonetheless, we're here, and let's start watching it. Yeah, uh, so yeah, here's the commentary starting. Uh, I had to add a bit of a definition there. And as I said, this is directed towards people who don't know what bronies are. And I wanted to have some live footage. Oh god, oh god, oh look at that fucking, oh my god. It looks like I have the Grand Canyon between my two front teeth. Jesus Christ. And basically, I wanted to show that it's a person who comes across bronies and decides to check it out. And, you know, at first he scoffs and is all like, <laughs> yeah, right. He has his prejudices, they're gay, and then he sees, holy shit, the majority are heterosexual. And he's like, what? So now he's having the thoughts that, hmm, this mu they must be watching it for a reason then. So he decides to check it out, and uh, he is the slowest typer in the universe. And, oh, sorry about this. <laughs> yeah, I did not very well. It was my first After Effects video. And, oh, that god, that's a dirty keyboard. It was my first After Effects video, ever. So, uh... And a lot of you wanted me to ask me why I didn't start the video with a bang. Like, a boom, bronies. But instead starting it slowly, like this. It's because the first video of... Yeah, listen to this. Yeah, I wanted that video to reflect the brony in the beginning. That he it came in with his prejudices, but what he found would you know, forever change him. And that's the beginning I wanted, because that reflected his change. So then in the beginning, we have a bunch of beautiful videos that have taken a lot of work to just demonstrate the beauty of it all. And then a bit of a uh, real life footage to show that bronies hang out together. Would you like a banana? And then for the people with short attention span, I needed the funny videos also quite early on, so this is where they come in. Oh man, I love that sync. This is an awesome tune. It, I, I consider it a brony song, because it's about uh, Cooper being a brony, so. Not made by a brony, but brony theme. Also, uh, I don't know what they're called, I forgot, but these these guys, the animators, they weren't really that big uh, at the time, so I thought I, I really wanted to I really wanted to give them a special shout out. Yeah, a friend of mine pointed out that I have a bit of, Oh, hang on, pause there. A friend of mine pointed out that the, I have a bit of problem with musical sync, that it's overlapping, yeah. That's one of the things I don't like about it the music is kind of overlapping the music in the videos and that kind of is a bit distracting but yeah, this video the real life video they were same story they were relatively unknown they, their videos had like 50 to 100 views so uh, I really wanted to give them a special shout out because their videos their real life enactments of episodes were actually really hilarious so I felt really proud for giving them a special shout out the actual maker for these videos commented on my, this video being completely shocked that his video was in here, so that made me happy. Let's keep watching. But yeah, overall, I really like this uh, section with the comedy. This was pretty good, then, I think. I don't really think that the dot mob really needed a shout out. Oh and oh yeah, the Gangnam Style section. A few commenters pointed out that yeah, that I don't I don't either. I'm proud of this section. We're just gonna go ahead and skip the Gangnam Style, aren't we? Yeah, the, unnecessary. This part, however, it was a pain in the ass to synchronize. I'll let you know that. 
And this is basically the section where I show that the pony videos are parodying trends online. And I was a huge fan of Doctor Who at the time, which you can see here. Well, not really a brony song. I think this is the only song in that is not brony. Maybe. Oh, we can skip this too. Yeah, there weren't really that many Doctor Who videos by different people, so I had to reuse a lot of clips. But nonetheless, I think Doctor Who has a huge influence over the brony culture. Which is also a reason why I wanted to have a Brony uh, Doctor Who section. And then comes this, which I'm. This video with this song, it works strangely well. I do love this song, it's really, really good. And then you had this. I had to mute the music because I didn't want. This was the case where I noticed that I didn't want the overlapping. But it goes. It becomes kind of awkward, don't, don't you think? Music mutes, new video, music goes up again. It feels a bit... I don't like it. And, uh, I don't like it at all. Same here. It's here, music is overlapping. It doesn't sound that good. This is cool, though, with the drums. It kind of syncs with the music. A bit of an awkward sync there. I, uh, oh yeah, this this was pretty good. I don't really mind it here because now the song is over. I'm not gonna play that song again. And that sync was really nice. It really nice. It's actually a part of the song in that line, so it really looks like Lyra was saying it. This section, uh, this whole section actually is to show pony versions of uh, media, other media, like uh, mu boom movies. Hang on, if we pause. Yeah, that whole section was basically uh, dedicated to pony videos that are based on TV shows and movies. And now this upcoming section right here is the section for actual brony movies. Okay, this one is not really a brony, actual movie. But this is. And for a beginning of After Effects, I was really proud of making the logos show up in the corner like that. We need you for rounds, <laughs> I think most of these well, moves have been cancelled. Oh, I really hope that the uh, storyboard drawings make it obvious that these are actual movies upcoming. Well, most of them have been released or cancelled. And as you can probably tell by the 8-bit music, this is the section for bro brony videos based on games and gaming. A big favorite of mine as you can probably tell by this fact being this channel being a let's play channel it's also really sad that most of these games have been cancelled because freaking Hasbro and their and their damn copyright puzzle policies Here's another case of uh, lowering the music for one single clip and then starting it up again. But the fact that the music kicks in like that, the beat drop, I think it's uh, acceptable here. So I don't really look too back at this with too much regret. This also gives an insight to how many pony videos are actually inspired by other things like shows and games and movies. No one tells I had an entire section here dedicated to portal videos. Oh yeah, Two Sisters Play. This is one of my favorite ser pony series of all time. 
No, this is getting a little too personal. Why did you do that? It just happened when I came back. To He's not gonna sell you shit now. <laughs> And a lot of Bronies will probably realize that, oh shit, this is actually a nasty video. And that became so obvious to non -bronies, bronies now. This is the audio of an Amnesia uh, parody over the footage of a Cupcakes uh, video, so I, I think I synced it pretty nice. I'm also really glad I found this uh, section. It really, it's a re and that's me! My only video. My only footage that's actually me, aside from the stupid intro that I hate. And this is a very controversial part of the video. A lot of people didn't want this in it because now they can't show it to their little sisters and things like that. But I think I need this part. I need to show all aspects of the Brony fandom. I can't just glorify it with propaganda. I need to show that there are nastier sections of uh, the Brony fandom. This is a video that introduces you to the Brony fandom and all that is the Brony fandom. I can't just, as I said, glorify it. So I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to make an edit of it yourself where you cut out this part. Because I don't want to. It goes against uh, the purpose of the video. I mean, there's talent everywhere, even in those sections. And this, oh my god, this is such a beautiful... Uh, video over a, such a beautiful song. I'm really proud of this. I almost get teared up at this actually. This part too. This video. The all the anime pony videos are really nice. I'm a big fan of anime too. Yeah. So this is the sadder section. And here comes the derpy section. Nicely. A lot of you probably thought I wouldn't have Derpy in it, but here she is. But quite possibly the greatest Brony song of all time, too. So basically the things I don't like about this video is the intro, I really don't, you know, myself from a year ago, it's a bit of self-cringe there. And I also don't like some of the editing decisions I made, like overlapping music. But it's like an abusive relationship, I can't stop having some feelings for it. And, hang on. Yeah, it's the, uh, this, oh my god, the anime clips, I love them so much, they're so nicely done. And this, listen, listen. The song is there for one clip that I, do, I don't like. <laughs> Felt a bit pointless, I should have taken that clip for after when the song comes back. Oh no wait, the song doesn't come back. Yeah, I should have just left that song out altogether. Look at the, uh, the poster. Look at the poster to the right. I think I have it in. Yep, she wakes up. And this is also I'm really proud of. Syncing up the song with the... Uh, you know, he's singing about how they're cute and beautiful when they're actually kicking ass. I love that. I almost want to sing along. And yeah, also a case of overlapping music here. But it transitions into an actual badass song here, so not that big of a deal. There, there, go back, go back, go back. A case of the song being too loud for you to actually hear the sound of the clip. And that that this is all this is one of the things that I mostly cringe at. This right here, not being able to hear what he's saying because of the music.
fall out. Should have had them in the gaming section now. This is one of the greatest pony videos of all time. I love it so much. And it fits quite okay with the music. It might have been best though if I didn't have the music on this clip, because it's all about the tension. This was nicely synced though. The song goes quiet as the bomb has exploded. So yeah, I really love this video. And a lot of you did too, because a lot of you were asking what this video was. I think it's an old one though. Oh yeah, I'm so proud of that. It's not over yet. Oh, duh. Really proud of that edit. And this is basically the section for uh, Milentius. The videos that I did couldn't fit in earlier. And the previous section was pretty much just the badass section. The things that fit that song. Also something that I'm really proud of in uh, this video is the end credits. I think I did an excellent job on the end credits. The end credits, after I was done video with the video, I listened to the end credits over and over again because the song just goes so well with the end credits. Listen. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you still think we're pathetic? So this is really an introduction or a video for uh, people that are curious about the Brony fandom. And you see, that's a lot of makers. And then I thank my subscribers. Another fun fact, this is the only time I've ever, well, at l indirectly, asked you to subscribe. And I don't even want to say that I did ask you because it was just indirectly. <coughs> That's also really nicely done with the ending there. That's up for you to decide. So yeah, about this video, there are a lot of things I don't like about it, and I would probably have done it very differently today, but I do I do love some parts of it, and it, and it is Devon Ixion history, and quite a big part of it. And uh, it was also a bit of controversial, because <laughs> you guys really were sending it to the haters, and uh, they're definitely flocking the comment sections. But uh, thank you for getting me where I am today, and this video was certainly a big part of it. If you enjoy this type of talking video, then be sure to let me know. Uh -huh. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. I'm sorry I couldn't make a Bronies Awesome 2014, but man, I'm not sure I can make any Bronies Awesome video again. As you can see, I'm not kidding. It was a lot of work. Seek elsewhere to one of the many people that have also picked up the Bronies Are Awesome trend, so... Thanks for listening, and uh, I'll see you in my next video, probably a Let's Play. See you then.